<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Genshin Impact lovers and haters, welcome back! It is 2 a.m., and that means it's time for another reaction. Because for some reason, on every fucking game, and I think this is just because of time zone differences, Boyo likes to release my time, all their trailers, at about 12 a.m. Now granted, I wasn't here at 12 a.m., but I'm here now at the ripe time of 2 a.m. The perfect time to be active the newest character teaser for Muolani. So, we have a lot to talk about here. Hopefully we'll keep it short and sweet, though. So, Muolani is the first character that's coming out for Natlin, the new region, the new 5.0, the big shebang. I reacted to a lot with the special program preview, and I thought I wouldn't have to react to stuff for a while. Although, Natlin is literally right around the corner. I think it's coming out in about a week. And that means Mulani is coming out in about a week. So, my current opinions. Um, I was pretty surprised, and this is going to be a little bit of a TLDR for the special program preview as well. But um, TLDR going into it, I didn't have high expectations for Natlin. And that is pretty much due to the fact that in all other aspects, Genshin is kind of upsetting me and kind of failing me. Whereas other games, and I always say this, like Honkai Star Rail, is basically exceeding my expectations. And Zenless is kind of in the middle. But Genshin is the worst of the bunch. The worst of the banana bunch. So we have Mulani coming out, and after the special program preview, I did think a little bit better of Natlin. I'm still not expecting much, and obviously at the program start, or sorry, at the, what the fuck was it called? The, uh, the, not the event, God damn it! my mind's blanking so hard here. Version, that's what it was. At the version start, nothing is going to be crazy, right? Like, this is the introduction to Nylon, the even the story, we're not going to get it all. We're going to get it over time. And I have this very big creeping feeling that aside from having little bells and whistles and little sort of gimmicks, especially for Natlin, I don't know if they're going to be outside of Natlin as well. I can assume that they might, and they probably will. But the main thing that I think is the drawing point for these characters is they have overworld exploration capabilities. If you saw the special program preview, you'll know what I'm talking about. Mualani has a little dolphin shark thing well more likely a shark than anything that she kind of rides around and it provides a lot of overworld movement aside from that is she good i don't really know and all the other characters have it too the four star cat girl and then i'm assuming the other five star dendro guy who's edgy and uh is more of like a parkour guy they all have their little overworld movement because i guess that's the theme with natlin right now it's kind of uh they all have their little overworld gimmicks but aside from that, I don't know what else they're going to do. Now, will that be good combat-wise? Again, we don't know. If it isn't, I think these characters will be massively bad. This is where they have to be at least decent combat-wise. But the same way I thought of Natlin is the same way I'm thinking of this little trifecta of starting characters. Now, granted, Mualani is the five-star. The cat girl is the four-star. I forgot her name. And then the edgy green guy... Uh, uh, excuse me, who for some reason has a little pixel dragon. I don't know what he is. I think he's a five star as well, though. But either way, I, again, my, my opinion improved about all of them generally, but I still don't think they're that good. And their gimmick is cute, but I really just more see it as more of an overworld thing. And I do like overworld, but the thing I prioritize the most, which is what we're going to start with, with the drip marketing for Mulani, is meta and gameplay. So, how am I going to rate these characters? As always, what is the, the rating system? It is number one, and this is in no particular order. I kind of do myself a disservice by saying what's one, what's two. One makes it sound like this is the more, most important thing, and it's not. The most important thing to me is gameplay and meta, sadly. But um, number one on the list in no particular order is their looks. Mulani looks okay. You know, she's not terrible, she's alright. But uh, I think she's a little plain. And obviously there's a huge controversy going on with Genshin, which sadly is doomed to fail. And I don't really want to say my piece on it because it's a pot of hot water. I don't want to stick my toe in. But people got really upset with Mulani as well as the entire cast of Natlin for reasons I don't want to get into. But regardless, that shit's going to die down. It's not going to matter. Genshin's going to make a buttload of money anyway. But Mulani's look is alright so far. 
I mean, again, she has the little shark that she rides or whatever. I think it's more gimmicky than anything. Again, th this initial wave of characters hasn't wowed me. Even though they've improved, they haven't wowed me. Gameplay-wise is really what I'm scared of. I don't think these things are going to be good unless they supremely number buff them. And they just make them just unfair stat-wise to the enemies, which, you know, it's a PvE game. It should be unfair. Aside from them doing that, I don't understand how could they be good kit-wise from what we've seen. And then lore-wise, we really don't know their lore, but I'm going to be honest, so far, aside from the overarching lore in all of Natlin with the Fatui, with the Archon, the individual lore of them having different tribes and everything, again, all things they showed in the special program preview, I don't really give a shit about. So, main thing, initial wave of characters isn't looking too strong for me. Hopefully they pick it up later on. I am interested in the Archon. I believe her name is Malvika. I am excited for her. So this is kind of a good thing too, because I'm kind of poor and I'm not really attached or interested in Mulani, the Dendro edgy guy, or the little cat girl. If I get them, I get them. And the cat girl is a four star and I think they give you to her for free. Or they give you her for free in the story, but don't quote me on that. But aside from that, I mean, we're going to have to kick it into high gear once the the version comes out because now they added extra rewards if you do it in a timely manner which i always do on my twitch channel but either way enough yapping let's see the teaser for Molani and talk about that afterward once i form a more complete opinion let's take a look being a guide in that land isn't easy she almost you sounded southern there an unfamiliar road oh even though she lives here Stop right there. what the Hand over all your mora. she doesn't look like a robber huh? a bad lady oh. This looks like a clown. Still, as the elders say, Her if you can has solve a, a fish problem in with it. Mora, might as well take the easy road. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did she just do to her? Did she pay her? You're new at this, aren't you? Oh, the first robbery? Is she gonna make fun of her? Wait, what? Wait, she's giving her the money? This is for you. Wait, this Not is such a bad example. Me, but because you're about to do me a favor. <laughs> what? Go to jail? Oh, you know this area, right? Could you take us somewhere? What the okay. fuck? I like how she has a little fish Whoa, on her butt. It's here. It's really here. Oh yeah, 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 the treasure. I'm sorry. The I one piece. Have done this there was any other way. Oh, now we're learning her Come backstory. Uh? Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> oh, look at all the painting on the walls. I wonder who the fuck painted that. Oh, look at the dinos. Oh yeah. Anymore. Not I anymore. Show you more places later. Yay! Wow, if, it, if only it was so easy to get money. Sounds like a pretty cool job. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that on her hand? <sighs> that looks so cute. Oh, it's a seal. The also say, beautiful scenery and good friends are worth their weight in gold. <laughs> Bro, she has a permanent happy face. Look at her. Her mouth isn't even closing. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was more funny than anything. So, the main thing I do gotta give the intro cast is they're at least, like, color varied. When you look at these characters, they are designed pretty well to the point where you know what element they are when you look at them. Not that that's ever really been a problem in Genshin, but I like that they keep it consistent, right? You could tell, like, like you know, if you looked at her, you might guess one of two things. So maybe with, with uh, Mulani here, I, you know, they're all, they're going with the whole Hawaii theme, because some reason that's involved in, I guess, this big African or Australian themed region. We also stuck in Hawaii. Why not? But um. When I looked at her, I was like, okay, she's either Cryo or Hydro. Now, granted, she's she's Hydro. But, like, looking at it, you're like, I wouldn't be remiss if some people thought Cryo, but she's more blue than anything. This little puffer fish on her butt is so funny. More and more, the look at it, like, the more time I spend on her design, the more I just think it's silly, and it's actually pretty decent. Now, this is where this kind of shows, I guess, not only about her character, but also how I feel the beginning of the story is going to go. Obviously, I think, we're not going to get anything crazy starting off Natlin. And we can even see here by Mulani's story, it's a happy-go-lucky thing. Obviously, this is Hoyo. Obviously, it's Genshin more than anything. So it's going to be kiddish. It's going to be silly. It's not going to be anything crazy, unlike their other games, which are a little bit more darker. <laughs> Zenless. But um, 
this trailer was kind of ass in the sense of the story. Like, does it show Mulani's character? Yes. But, I mean, it, it was quick, but I was like, yo, we're learning more about this lady. Like, we kind of got a little bit of her backstory where, like, it's her first robbery. She needs the money. She doesn't want to do it. Then we actually did about Mulani. We got some things about her elders, and I guess by contrast, you could say, oh, she's a girl who, you know, I guess respects the old people, as do I. But it's like it wasn't even fully focused on her. It's like I was interested in the other stuff going on around her. But, you know, look-wise, she's pretty good. I really like that seal on her. It has a little bow tie, too. He's permanently smiling. And again, this kind of teases that I think the beginning of Natlin's story is just going to be chill. It's going to be, like, more of an introduction, which obviously it needs to be, but it's it's kind of whatever. You know, this hasn't really changed my mind, and I knew it wouldn't. Mulani is cool. I'm curious to see if this sells well, because, like I said about the controversy, a lot of people want to, quote-unquote, boycott Genshin because of the whole skin tone thing. We'll see if that actually comes to fruition, but... I don't know. To me, Natlin just hasn't been too appealing. That doesn't mean I'm not going to cover it, but Mulani isn't really doing it for me. And again, once we get into her kit, which is going to come with the collected miscellany if I decide to cover that, because it's so fucking horrible compared to what Star Rail does, we'll really get like a deep dive into her kit, but I really don't like most aspects of her. But again, this is a good thing because I need to save from Alpha. But either way, this was her teaser. Um, pretty... Again, nothing crazy, nothing that's breaking the mold, nothing interesting. Just a nice, kind girl who's, I guess, a guide as well. Nothing crazy. And that's kind of so far what I feel about, like, Natlin, except for, again, the overarching story with uh, El Capitanio fighting Malvika. Aside from that, I really don't care about anything else. Maybe that's because I'm too old, maybe because I'm just angry at Genshin for all the other changes they fuck up. Who knows? But, Mualani... You just ain't it yet. Sorry. And I don't think that's going to change, but that's going to kick off our drip marketing coverage of her. Somehow we managed to turn a almost two minute video into a 12 minute video, but that's the way we do things. Either way, you guys tell me what you guys think of Mulani. Hopefully I really want to know other people's opinion on this because I'm not feeling it. And I'm really curious if other people are feeling it. And I don't, you know, I really hope people aren't biased from the fact that we're also getting all the anniversary rewards here because that could basically drive up the boat. You know, a rising tide in increases um, or lifts all boats, that's the saying. So I really feel like people are going to combine their thoughts and their appreciation with the increased, but still not good, but increased anniversary rewards with Natlin because they coincide. But I feel like people are going to get a good feeling from that and attribute it also to Natlin when maybe it doesn't deserve it, but who knows. We have to question if the opinion is accurate and if it's true, which is the same thing. But either way, tell me what you guys think, hopefully. And if you want more, you can watch me at Twitch TV Sustechnics channel. Eee!